Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today I'll talk with you about probably the most frequently asked question, Angular or React? What to use for your app development in next upcoming 2020? Personally, I made a ton of projects using both of technologies for the last probably five years. And today we'll talk a look about overview of all of them. We'll talk about advantages and disadvantages of each. And also I will share my personal opinion about when to use each of uh, React or Angular for your project. Choosing between Angular and React is something like choosing between Ronaldo and Messi or choosing between Mercedes and BMW. So both of them are really good and you don't need to love both of them and you don't need to hate both of them. They are coming from the biggest competitors in the world, Google and of course Facebook and of course uh, both of the companies made an amazing job. They understand uh, their domains and they deliver the nice tools for us as developers. So let's jump into it. Let's start from some statistics from Google Trends. As you can see from graphs from right side of me, the Angular was more popular for a while than React. And from beginning of 2018, the React started growing more uh, by search results than Angular. Someone will ask me, is, that, is it uh, make sense that React uh, more popular than Angular? No, they both are growing rapidly so fast and it's just because probably more projects a bit are using React and Angular. Uh, guys, if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, you can do that right now. I will really appreciate it and will make more uh, valuable content for you in future. In the middle of this video, I want to share one really valuable tip with you. And I saw a lot of times when junior or middle developers, they are all using one technology in their job like Angular or React or any other framework and they started like hating in some case other technologies because um, in most cases they don't understand why uh, the answer for question why that technology is better for, for some reasons and why uh, that one is better for, 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 for other purposes. And it's happening more when, when they don't have enough experience. So if your developer is saying you that uh, React is better than Angular, and he's saying just like that, you should understand that probably he is not really experienced, because the right question to uh, answer for, for that reason will be, okay, what aim of your app is, what is important for your app, and after that he can answer which one will fit best uh, for your app development. And let's switch to some differences from React and Angular. So first of all, of course, it's library, of framework. Uh, you probably understand that React is library and Angular is framework. Of course, it's much easier to start with library, uh, I mean with React, and start making your first steps here if you just started learning uh, something or you're like junior developer, it's amazing to jump into it. But in other way around, uh, you have uh, the Angular, which has their own like ecosystem, which has their own way of making things and uh, sometimes it can be as again too complex for understanding but once you get it it will be too light for you to go it will too light uh, uh, too easy for you to work with other teammates and etc working with library you have some risks because for example uh, with library you need to connect other stuff like redux or whatever you're using in in your app development and in that way, sometimes that kind of libraries cannot be stable so much. Of course, they are developed by the same community. Of course, they are like open source, but still, there is a small risk that uh, some of that libraries cannot be supported anymore and they cannot be updated in future. So it's kind of risk which you also should think about if you're using library. With Angular, it's a little bit easier because um, you, you use like a stable solution, you just connect it and it's working. And so that kind of stuff is much easier, uh, I, I can see from, from Angular and React. So let's talk about second one. The second one is speed. Angular 2 Plus made a lot of success with improved their speeds compared to Angular 
version 1 and with React of course we have more um, more better speed than in Angular. Why? Because they use using virtual DOM, they just comparing and rendering the DOM elements which was changed before and of course if you're making some app where like the visual things is rendering a lot of times in your page and the speed is really important, so maybe it's the case to you to use React than Angular. Let's talk about third one, it's TypeScript. When you're developing something with Angular, probably you will get uh, start using TypeScript as main of your language. It was developed by Microsoft. It's giving you a strict rules of coding something. And of course, it will be so much useful if you have a big team or you're using making a big enterprise application because they're just saying you how to do the things right. And you don't have other way of doing that. And basically in React, of course, it's more, you, you're like, more free to do in that stuff, but sometimes you can code them badly and other of your other your colleague cannot just easily get it. And the last point is about templates. In Angular, the structure of your application will be uh, cutted by different logics. So in one file, you'll have your markup templates. In the second one, you will have your component logic and etc. 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 And in React, you have some kind of mix because basically you're writing um, all your templates by logic JSX. Uh, and in that way, you'll have your uh, like templates in, in one file and also uh, some of logic for the templates in one. It depends on your taste, of course. Uh, I prefer like to cut that logic in different things, but of course, I'm, I'm okay working with React as well. By the way, if you're looking for an amazing React to Angular developer with also deep soft skills who can just easily get all your ideas and share their ideas with you, with you which can be basically valuable for your business so much, you can contact me directly or visit our website ava.cots and we can help you with that one. So you will ask me, the, the biggest question is that, Alex, which one to use for, for my app development? Probably you understand that it's really connected for your solution because if you are using a lot of graphical elements on your page and you have a lot of like renders and you need to get something in like live streams, in that case, I would suggest you to use React. And of course it will give you an amazing speed. It will give you uh, freedom of making uh, things uh, how you basically want them happen. Because Angular in that way will not be really the solution for you because uh, sometimes when you have not really typical logic of your app, Angular have their strict rules and it will be like over, over logical in some case for you to code it on Angular. So for that kind of like really uh, not typical stuff, use React uh, when speed is important for you. But when you have something like more stable, like more typical, more like enterprise, uh, where, where it's basically like normal flow of um, like login, register, basically like a normal platform in some case, um, it's Angular for you. Because in that way, um, it will be easy to you to replace the people, it will be easy to you to support your code because it's not connected to people how they want to code it because it's connected to Angular because they just have one rule how to code it properly. And if you are like working with good people, they will just do that in the same way mostly. So yeah, and also it's more connected to support and community. And with Angular, it's both fine because support and community is more focused on that kind of like enterprise and that kind of stuff. That's why basically the enterprise companies are more using the Angular than React. And more startups are using React than Angular. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was really valuable for you to learn more about advantages and disadvantages of React and Angular. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, you can do that right now on, on the right side. I wish you good luck and uh, yeah, just think more about what you're choosing and why you're choosing that technology for for your application. Have a nice day and talk to you soon. Bye.
Got me down again.